everybody, Skyler here, and today I wanted to talk to you about uh, Fidelity taking the Lightning Torch. So uh, this is kind of a, a big deal. Uh, if, if, if anybody doesn't know who Fidelity is, they handle trillions of dollars worth of um, assets. In fact, it's, let's see, $7.2 trillion worth of assets, and they actually um, ended up uh, taking the the lightning torch and ended up passing it on. So, for those of you who don't know what uh, the lightning torch is and what you know, um, what what's going on here. So essentially, uh, this guy right here, he ended up starting. Um, he sent uh, ten thousand satoshis of uh, of uh, you know, Bitcoin, he, and he ended up passing on that 10,000 Satoshis, and every time he passed it on, the next user would add 10,000 Satoshis, and then they would pass it on to the next person through the Lightning Network. And so, um, you know, people like like Jack, I don't know if, if uh, anyone knows who, who Jack is, if you don't, he, he is... Um, he is the uh, CEO of Square. He's also the CEO of Twitter. His name is Jack Dorsey. He's at Jack if, you, if you're on Twitter. But he actually took the lightning torch a while ago and uh, ended up passing it on. And he ended up also, he let the lightning, uh, he let the lightning network a lot be allowed to tip with Twitter. Now, it's not native to Twitter, but it works with Twitter, and, and he actually tweeted about that as well. Um, so, just really cool. A lot. Of, it's funny, this news is so big, yet now there is some movement on the charts going on, but uh, I, I kind of, if this news came out in 2017, we would we would have seen then that explosion that we saw back in 2017, but uh, I just kind of find it interesting. The Fidelity ended up passing it over to um, HBS Blockchain. They, uh, they're they doing a crypto conference here pretty soon. So uh, at any rate, I just kind of found that interesting. Oh, and uh, by the way, here is the... Uh, the so if you go, you, you can actually uh, tip in dot me and then at your uh, Twitter name, and then people can actually go and... Uh, and tip you right here, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is the Canadian banks. They're kind of sketched out about the Quadric CX exchange, so just it seems that uh, the bank just doesn't know where the m money came from, and they they just feel uncomfortable about the whole situation. So the bank is trying to get somebody else to take the money, but essentially, you know, if nobody knows the story, this is uh, Canadian's largest exchange, and they shut down recently because the owner went on a charity, you know, went went to do some charity by himself in a different country while he was sick with the disease, and he died over there, and. A lot of people are speculating if he actually died or, you know, what happened because he was the only one that apparently held the keys to the company's money. So people lost, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. So uh, a lot of people are skeptical whether, you know, the owner really died or not or, and they you know, he died in an area that was known for faking deaths and whatnot. But, um, and then there's a lot of people who also think that, um, that the company claimed that that the owner had all of the keys and no one else that way they could uh you know steal the money and and uh, keep it themselves and so there's just a lot of you know there's people trying to hunt down these a addresses and whatnot but uh, and you know, there's people claiming it was ne there was never any assets in cold storage and you know at any rate it's being investigated and but they're officially shut down. They have been a couple days ago, a few days ago, um, and uh, and yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. I'll make sure to report on this story and keep going. Uh, next, I kind of want to talk on the Samsung one. I'll do a more detailed video, but they legitly have a crypto wallet in their um, in their phone now. In fact, I actually have a video right here. So, uh, 
I was I actually grabbed the phone and I hopped into the settings and I was able to find the wallet. Uh, they currently only have a Ethereum support on the phone I have. I'm sure you can add more. I didn't really dive into in depth into it, but uh, this is big. Now I I. Uh, I don't have the numbers of how many people actually use Samsung Wallet, but uh, mm -hmm. which is, and I, I know it's not as much as Google Pay or as much as Apple Pay, which is surprising because anyone who who knows Samsung Pay just knows it's it's the superior way of making payments with your phone. I have not carried a card around with me for almost two years. I've had everything on my Samsung Pay, and it works over you know 99 percent of the time normally when you have those like tiles or those little squares you know some some little devices on ipads it doesn't work but anyone that has a standard machine um you know it doesn't use nfc well it can but it uses the, the card reader as well so it's just awesome um and uh and the other you know google pay and apple pay uses nfc so a lot of the places they they don't work anyone who knows samsung pay just knows it's super annoying going to places and they're like oh that won't work here and you're like let me just try it before you say that man because it's not apple pay at any rate uh there are a lot of people let's actually pull it up okay so so here we have a graph, um, and it shows yeah Apple Pay dominating. It shows by the millions. So uh, last, well the year before last is the last one it has records of, but it shows 86 million people using Apple Pay. That is amazing, um, and still 34 million people using Samsung Pay. So there's 34 million people already using the wallets of Samsung that this is going to be introduced to. So this is really really big news now um anyone who i'll link all these articles obviously i always do but uh, anyone who reads this also essentially uh what um samsung has done is they they have set up many different possibilities where uh, anything really that goes down in the next you know couple few many years with crypto they have an edge on it so obviously we we just went on this uh, chart right here and we see that apple pay is just destroying even though it's n not nearly as good as samsung pay it has over double the amount of users and uh, this is a way for samsung to get the edge back so uh, so I think they're just kind of setting themselves up and uh, they're just incorporating all, all sorts of stuff into their wallets in case in the future certain things arise they can just make a software update and change things or, or whatever the case but um, but yeah they they currently um, on the phone that I had now I'm sure there's updates and all this stuff will become available eventually but the phone that I used uh, you were just able to uh, hop into the phone and then um, you know add your keys and like I said I'm sure it'll be updated but um, that oh, is just <laughs> that's just awesome mm -hmm. and I just I can't wait for this to come out and I can't wait for uh, you know adoption to keep going uh, this story I don't really know why I'm reporting it it's not really <laughs> um, Shapeshift is looking for a new CFO. The old CFO is just getting another name in the company. It's not like he left for any reason. Uh, so I, I saw some drama on Twitter, and so I ended up looking it up. And it, he, he's just, you know, they're just getting more people for the company. So um, nothing bad. But um, and then if you had a thousand Bitcoin, what right would you here, buy? So um essentially this <laughs> this is kind of cool this is the very first vehicle right here that was ever purchased with with bitcoin and um it was purchased for a thousand bitcoin as well so the guy kind of tells the story uh, i'll leave a link to this video so you can check it out but uh he essentially uh way back in the day you know he put three thousand dollars back into bitcoin and uh, ended up selling, you know, buying that car for a thousand Bitcoin, and um, but uh, now obviously he he has a ton more money from the crypto spike. But pretty interesting story and kind of cool. But I'll, I'll link that as well. And I I guess I'll end with this. So um, this has actually been out for a while. 
um, a few days now, weeks, something like that. But it, it is really cool to see that on the Apple phones, on the Google keyboard, they have added the Bitcoin logo into the keyboard. So, uh, if, man, anyone, anyone who's been around since before 2017, um, just knows that like if this ever if this happened in 2016 17 can you imagine the the in, the spike increase i remember the smallest news the vague there would be like people making up rumors and yet a coin would increase 20 30% in you know a day or two just because of these rumors and uh but you know it is it has increased you know like 5% in the last couple of days about 20% ish well, I guess let's see about 25 since December you know 20% I guess since from the recent 3500 but it's about 4200 right now and as I'm making this video so it has increased quite a bit but um, I'm just saying it's not like it's, it was back in the day that like the news that have just that I just reported on today should would have been explosive but um, at any rate still a lot of really cool things happening um, and I think like all this stuff like there's so many there's so much news like this that goes down that it just like it just validates the space that this space isn't going anywhere there's mm -hmm. more people going you know opening projects there's a ton of projects that are you know getting out of the space but there's almost equal amount of project getting back into the space um, so at any rate uh, that is the news for today I super appreciate anybody who has been uh, watching already and uh, subscribed and all that jazz. I am a new channel and uh, I do post every day so sometimes when a video get, gets like four likes or, or views I mean um, it, it gets kind of rough so anyone who does stay and like and watch and subscribe and does anything like that it's a big help and I've also had people comment on you know things to make the videos better and stuff so at any rate really appreciate everybody and uh, yeah uh, see you the next video see you tomorrow bye Thank <laughs> you.